Hello everyone and welcome to our class Essential Communication Session 1 or Lesson 1 It was all about me or all about you So for me I might use photographs and say look at the photograph here I went on holiday to Iceland you might ask me when did you go? Who went with you? I might show you Portugal and say, I visited Portugal. When did you visit Portugal? What did you do there? I work as a teacher teaching you English and you can also see my online videos. Where are those videos? How many are there? So for session one, we're thinking about words, phrases and questions that you might use to talk to somebody else. Let's begin with your work. So words, we listen and learn together. Boy, married, Romanian, key words that you heard. And remember, if you have a young child, a boy, then we use the word son. So instead of boy, son, my son. And when we use more than one word, you can see there by that stretching, when we use two or three words, we call it a phrase. So the phrases you use today live in Doncaster, have seven children, have a Labrador. Very good use of the word have. And what about that question? Yes, the punctuation marks there. Full stop, exclamation mark, question mark. We're using a question mark. And the question you asked was, what did you do in the morning? Be very careful because what did you do is a separate phrase to in the morning. So we use in the morning when we're talking about the next day. Yes, the next day. What are you going to do in the morning? And if you want to ask what did you do this morning, that's how you say it. Using the same phrase, what did you do? But remember time. So this morning is today. In the morning is the next day. So what did you do this morning? Good question. Lovely questions from you here. Do you like? That's a really good phrase to use at the beginning of a question. Do you like shopping? Do you like surfing the internet? Fantastic English, so well done for those questions. I really like this question. What did you cook today? And remember, you can ask this question in a few ways. They're all good. What did you cook today? What have you cooked today? What meals have you cooked today? So that's a good question to ask and different ways to ask that question. Look at the phrases. What do you like? And then what you're talking about, coffee. No, we don't put them together like this. We don't ask, what do you like, coffee? because you're confusing the phrases. So let's take out, do you like? Do you like is a really brilliant way to start your question. Do you like coffee? Now, what if you wanted to start your question with the word what? Well, you could ask, I suppose, what is coffee? I like. Do you like coffee? 
That's a lovely question to ask somebody. Do you like coffee? Do you like tea? When you're thinking about what do you like? So let's go back to the previous question. We don't say what do you like coffee? So we might ask what do you like as a separate question? Or we'd say do you like coffee? So practice, do you like coffee? Do you like tea? Again, look at the phrases that you put together for the question. What is, good phrase. The favorite team, good phrase. Don't put them together, no. Because the question is actually, what is your favorite team? So, not the favourite team. When you use the, when you're talking about the team, if you want to use that in this sentence, it would come at the beginning and it wouldn't be a question, would it? The favourite team won. So you're suggesting that people already know favourite in terms of competitiveness. So that's quite hard. So don't put those two together. Don't do this. Do this. What is your favourite team? Because you're asking a person. What is your favourite team? Maybe you're asking about football. What's your favourite football team? What's your favourite hockey team? Where do you live? Great question there. Do you have any children? I love that phrase. Do you have? It's a really good way to start questions. Do you like cooking? Yes, lots of people cook. Doesn't mean they like cooking, but it might mean they do. Do you like cooking? A lovely set of questions here, so well done. Do you have any children? Are you married? Are you happy? I really love that question. Are you happy? Do you like music? And where do you live? But be very careful about your last question. When do you visit your holiday? Again, we're taking some phrases and placing them together when we shouldn't be. So let's have a look at the phrases you have there. When do you visit is separate to your holiday. So think about what you're actually asking. Are you asking, when do you visit your family in Turkey? Or when do you visit your family? So thinking about visit, it's usually people you go to visit. You might visit a town. But if you're talking about holiday, that's different to a town or a place. So you're thinking about where. Where did you go on? Where did you go on holiday? And you can make that question longer. Where did you go on holiday last year? Where did you go on holiday last week? So think about the words that you put together and what you're actually asking. And that's goodbye from Mickey and goodbye from me. And the next video will be for our second class. So use this video to revise words, phrases and sentences. Bye now.